Mabuhai, Kamastakao, welcome to another video. So this is an update on two plants that I did a video on just over two years ago now. Some of you might remember these two plants. These were the two that were absolutely infested with root mealybug. The infestation was so bad I had no choice but to cut the entire root system off both plants. I'll insert some photos of just how bad the infestation was. They came in on the aloe plant and spread to the gymno. Luckily, even though there was other plants around, they didn't spread to anything else. Yeah, as you can see, the alley was just heaving in mealybugs. Hundreds, if not thousands of them at all different stages. So when I did that video, I showed how both of these plants were recovering and sending out new roots. So today, with it being almost two years to the day, I thought we'd unpot these and just see how much root growing they've done in those two years. They don't necessarily need repotting, but I'm curious to see the roots on both of these plants. So we'll start with the aloe. Just take the label out. I've got a feeling this has done a lot of root growing. The pot does feel very tight and there were a few roots coming out the drainage holes as well. There we go. Wow, lovely roots. That was wrong, it does need a repot. Some lovely thick roots there. So let's get some of this old mix away from the roots so we can get a better look at them. Not a bad soil mix they were in either. I did root them up in pretty much the same mix I use now with pumice and lava rock. No signs of pests again, thankfully. Root mealy bug has to be one of the worst pests ever, if not the worst, because they're inside the pot munching away on the roots and you don't often notice there's a problem until it's too late. And the only reason I knew something was going on with this aloe is because it just looked generally unwell, all its leaves wilted, wasn't taking up water, and around this plant I noticed a nasty smell like rotten vegetables. And then lifting the pot up I noticed all those beasties crawling around in the green tray. Fantastic roots, very happy with those. This plant has recovered well. Some really nice thick ones there as well. Right, let's unpot the gym now. Again, pot feels very tight. Again, there was roots coming out of the drainage holes. So I think this is gonna have a nice root system on it as well. Again, give the pot a bit of a squeeze. Not too spiny this plant, so pretty easy to hold. Lovely roots again. Being a busy plant. So once again, I'll just remove a lot of the old soil so we can get a better look at the roots. And there we go, pretty substantial root system. And this is what you want to see with any cactus or succulent really, a root system that's bigger than the actual plant. Right, let's get them potted up into some new pots. So as always the mix I'm using is my regular one, four equal parts of John Inns number two compost, pumice, kiyodama and zeolite. And about half a part of worm castings in here as well. I'm gonna put the aloe into this pot. Not the pot I wanted to use, but it is roughly the next size up. This is a lovely aloe as well, I didn't want to lose it to pests. I'd rather kill it myself trying to save it than let nasty mealies finish it off. And this is the more toothier form, or select form, of aloe humilis, which you don't see very often. this gymno in this square pot. Again, it's roughly the next size up to what it was in. Not really happy with the positioning of that. 
that's better. And as all heavy use now, trusty skewer. Alright, final step, finish them off nicely with some top dressing. That's the gymno all done. And with the aloe I've top dressed it with some large pieces of lava rock. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little update and repotting of these two plants. And just goes to show how resilient these plants are. They were already suffering badly with root mealies and then having all their roots chopped off. At the time I really did think I was going to lose them. Since then I have had to cut roots off a few other plants as well. Not because of root mealies thankfully. But I had a few that lost roots over the winter and weren't really growing new ones back. So I made a fresh cut at the base of the plant and those have since grown nice new roots as well. I'll just show you this ferrocactus as well that I had to restart. I noticed this was very loose in its pot a couple of months ago. I unpotted it and it had virtually no roots left. Just a few old dried up ones coming out of a stump. So I made a fresh cut, let it callous over, and now just a couple of months later it's putting out nice new roots. So yeah, don't be afraid to cut roots away and restart the plant if you have to. Nine times out of ten they will regrow new ones. And often the roots will grow back more vigorously and healthy. Cacti and succulents are way tougher than we give them credit for sometimes. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and before I forget, one very important thing to remember when you get any new plants. Don't make the same mistake I used to do in the past and put them straight into your collection. Get them out of their old soil right away, check them over carefully and even then keep them isolated away from your other plants for a while. Until you know for sure there's no beasties that might have hitched a ride on your plant and then spread to others. That's the mistake I did with the aloe, even though I unpotted it, cleaned it all up and put it in fresh soil. There were still mealies on it that I didn't notice. They are a nightmare pest and they can be difficult to get rid of if they spread to other plants. And all it takes is just one mealy bug to start a population of hundreds or thousands that can spread throughout your entire collection. So with that said, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well so you know when I upload a new video. You'll be safe and well and I shall see you next time. Salam Bye for now.